I want to tell you a story about why I, as a hospice nurse, am thankful that I was finally able to quit drinking alcohol. Now, trigger warning, this story is very raw and real. It is not the kind of lovely, inspirational hospice story that you might be used to hearing, other than it could be inspirational if you're trying to quit drinking. But it it is hard to listen to, so scroll on if you don't want to hear it. I was working in a hospice care center, and my patient was in her early 50s. She had cirrhosis of the liver because of alcohol abuse. And when you have cirrhosis of the liver, ammonia levels can rise in your bloodstream and they can affect your brain and how you think. She had no family with her because of obvious issues with family relations due to her alcoholism. And because she was not able to process what was happening, she was really scared. Her fear turned into agitation and she began to get very aggressive with me and the other nurse and started throwing things at us and accusing us of trying to hurt her. She began clawing at her chest and her breasts, ripping her skin apart and was bleeding. This is a really hard part to to talk about and it's a hard part to hear. She reached down and she grabbed onto her Foley catheter, that tube that goes into the bladder and she ripped it out and it still had the balloon intact at the end of it. She held that catheter up and she looked at me and she started to cry and she said, that really hurt. I had no doubt that it did and it was heartbreaking. Because of the physical effects that the ammonia level rising in her brain had caused, there was nothing we could do for her other than give her medication. And so the other nurse and a doctor held her down and I had to give her an injection into her arm of a medication that finally calmed her down. You would think that being involved in a situation like that would have motivated me to immediately quit drinking alcohol, but I didn't identify that I had a problem at that time. And now that I am more than two years sober, when I look back on that event, like I said, I am so thankful that I was able to quit because that poor woman suffered a horrific experience and then a few days after that she died because of alcohol.